Right then, so welcome to the video and today I'm back at Drayton Manor. This is a super exciting year for the park. Uh, we've got a brand new coaster opening very, very soon. Uh, we've got a brand new area as well called Frontier Falls and we've got the transformation of a classic coaster which is also going to be opening very soon too. So today I thought I'd head down to the park to check out all these updates and to see the construction of this brand new coaster. So let's head on in and check it out. So just a quick look round of the Vikings area. Unfortunately nothing new this year for Vikings, but this is a fantastic area. If you've not been to Drayton Manor before, then definitely check it out because you've got some fantastic rides like four over here. And you also have Loki, which is probably my favourite ride here in Vikings. It is a Zamperla Nebulas ride. It's a very unique ride, so you don't get many of these out there. And visually, it looks incredible off ride too. Then you also have Slepnia, which is a ride aimed at the younger guests. Uh, but you ride on the back of a horse. I've only been on this ride once, but I love it. It's got onboard audio as well, which makes it even better. And then you also have Jormungandr, which is this powered family coaster. This used to be the, the Buffalo Coaster, uh, uh, when Vikings was introduced. It got changed into Jormungandr, which is a great family roller coaster, and it gives you some great views currently of the new roller coaster coming later on this year. So new for 2024 is Frontier Falls, which is a new themed area here at Drayton Manor. Honestly, just at a first glance, this area, it, it looks incredible. So first of all, you have the Falls Theatre, which now shows the Looney Tunes 4D, uh, starring Roadrunner and Wild E. Coyote. I believe that used to be a, a Thomas and Friends show inside this theatre previously, uh, but this new Looney Tunes show, it fits way more with this area. In fact, I've just been inside to check it out, and it was really, really fun. Uh, you've got some great effects in there, you've got some water effects for the seats move, uh, and the 3D effects as well are really, really good. So you also have Sheriff Showdown. Uh, so this is a classic shooting dark ride. And it actually turns 24 years old this year as it opened in the year 2000. So originally this was sponsored by the Nestle cereal Golden Nuggets and was called Golden Nuggets Wild West Shootout. But since 2018, it's been called Sheriff Showdown. Uh, and even after this new area has been introduced, it's kept the same name. Uh, and that's because it doesn't really need to change as it fits in with the area perfectly. And you also have The Haunting, which is a Vacoma Madhouse attraction. I don't want to go into too much detail about what happens inside, just in case you've never been on this ride. Uh, I don't want to ruin any of the surprises. Uh, but it's a spooky themed dark ride, and it's been operating uh, a very long time now, since 1996. Uh, it doesn't have that western theme, so I'm not too sure what the future holds for this ride. Uh, I don't think they'll get rid of it, however there could possibly be a re-theme, uh, perhaps at some point. Either way though, I'd love this attraction, it's one of my favourites here at Drayton Manor. Then you have Accelerator, which is a family boomerang coaster. Uh, it used to be a theme to the cartoon Ben 10, however it was renamed after their sponsorship with Cartoon Network ended. Uh, as with The Haunting, it's possible we could see a re-theme of this coaster to fit in with the new Frontier Falls area. But having said that, there is another roller coaster opening very soon, and that is themed to the area, which we'll have a look at right now. So here is how the new coaster coming to Drayton Manor is looking currently. It's situated where the former Apocalypse ride used to be, uh, which was a super scary drop tower. Uh, I only ever braved it once during its final months, uh, just so I could say that I did it. And honestly, it was terrifying. Um, but it was removed and in its place is this brand new coaster for 2024. So at the time of recording this vlog, uh, there's no news on the name of the coaster. However, expect a Western theme name to fit in with the Frontier Falls area. So just by looking at it, it has a lot of twists and turns. It looks like a very fun family thrill coaster. And what's also interesting is that it will be a lift and launch coaster, which is actually quite rare to come across here in the UK. Uh, I think the only coaster of this type is 13 at Alton Towers. Honestly, this is going to be a fantastic addition to the park, and I can't wait to ride it when it opens later this year. So this is my first time actually seeing the new roller coaster that's coming later on this year, and it actually looks really, really fun. Definitely a family coaster, uh, but it looks like it's got a lot of twists and turns on there. Obviously, you've got that launch section as well. So you can just see that metal framework there, that is going to be a building and the launch section uh, is actually going to be inside that building. This is going to be a really fun roller coaster. 
A ride that has had a complete re-theme for the 2024 season is Blasting Barrels. Now this was formerly known as Drunken Barrels. Blasting Barrels is a twist on the classic teacup ride, uh, so you can spin these barrels super fast, so prepare to get a little bit dizzy if you do ride this one. I like how you've got all these different barrels around the outside of the building. We've got Danger Explosives. You've got the side of the building, which looks like there's been, a, been an explosion in there. And then on the inside, you've got all the different barrels. With some of them have danger explosives written on the front. This looks fantastic. And as you walk along this pathway, you've got some great theming here. So we've got a Wild Bill's Hotel and Saloon. We've got a, uh, we've got a bank over here. We've got like a, a sheriff's office and a, and a jail as well. This is a great photo op over here. So just another look at the new coaster coming later on this year at Drayton Manor. It looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, over here, it's very hard to see it on this camera, uh, but just right here, there is a switch track, which possibly means that this coaster could actually go backwards too. And you also have that launch section, the track just looks very impressive and it looks like it has some fantastic elements on there. Uh, I can't wait for this to open later on in 2024. So the wave has begun testing here at Drayton Manor. It's not currently testing as we speak, uh, but it was announced earlier today that it is currently testing. Uh, so this roller coaster, it was formerly called Shockwave, which was the UK's only stand-up roller coaster. Uh, however, the wave is now a sit-down roller coaster with lap bar restraints. Um, the main reason behind this is so that younger guests can experience the attraction as with sit-down coasters they were able to reduce their height restrictions. Of course it is a little bit sad that the UK now doesn't have a stand-up roller coaster uh, but this is a family park so I completely understand the decision. Plus with foreign versions only having lap bar restraints is still going to be very very scary. There's also a fantastic head chopper section right here which I absolutely love. The wave will be opening very, very soon. Uh, I mean, they're testing it now, even though it's not going around. They have announced they are testing it. So unfortunately, Storm Force 10 is currently closed. To be honest though, it is very cold today, so I won't be riding this one anyway. Uh, but yeah, it is currently closed. I believe it will be opening uh, in April. So if you are thinking about coming to Drayton Manor to ride Storm Force 10, then definitely wait till after April. And hopefully it'll be a little bit warmer then too. So there we have it, some updates here at Drayton Manor. Honestly, this park is getting better and better every single year and I cannot wait for the year to come. Uh, I just purchased my first annual pass for the park so expect plenty of content from this park coming up on the channel over this season. I'm going to end this video now because the rain is coming down super hard but if you did enjoy watching this video then please hit that like button to let me know and if you are new around here then please consider hitting that subscribe button ring the notification bell so you don't miss a single thing <laughs> because we made plenty of theme park and adventure videos here which you don't want to miss. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to go inside.